Hey guys, one sec. Hey guys, today I'm making a, a toilet seat. As you can see, my toilet seat's broken. I might have a fat bum, the kids might have been jumping on it, I'm not sure. Went to the toilet, it was broken. Today, I'm making a new toilet seat. I'll run you through how I'm gonna do it. Lucky for you, I've already done after work. Pretty much, I got three bits of wood, a biscuit joined them together. I've marked out the old toilet seat, so simply put the toilet seat on, scribed around it, you can see the, the lines, and then once the glue dries, I'll simply cut out the ID and the OD, and voila, I routed the edges, varnish it, and we should have a new toilet seat. For those of you who don't know what a biscuit joint is, I'll show you now. Just like all tools, it's cheap and expensive versions. In most garages, you don't need an expensive version. GMC, which I don't even know if you can buy anymore. Adequate. Um, so this is a bis biscuit cutter. You literally got a dial here to adjust to suit your biscuit. You buy a biscuit, there's numbers on the biscuit in the middle. Match the number up on here. Set the height here that you want and the angle. There's a blade on the inside. And as you squish, squish it in, the blade comes in and out, cutting your biscuit. Also known as a domino cutter. Um, the dominoes are generally rectangle in shape. Biscuits are elongated. So here is the lid I'm making. This lid is to replace the current one. It's still good, but I just want to make a matching lid so it all looks kosher. Pretty much, this is the same as the, the actual toilet seat. The only difference is the lid I'm making out of two pieces. The toilet seat has one fatter piece in the middle and two narrower pieces on the side, with a little bit wider. Pretty much, I had got a biscuit cutter, cut out the grooves. I've got some biscuit joints. This biscuits, you run glue around the edge, put your biscuits in, put glue in the other recess as well, and simply clamp them together. Like voila. Once you put the glue in and you press them together, when the glue dries, here's one I did earlier. When the glue dries, the three bits will be stronger than one. Hey guys, apology. I um, had some problems with some of the footage, so I'm just gonna do a bit of a voiceover. Only for a couple of sections. Once the glue dried, I just uh, followed the lines that I marked out with the jigsaw. Uh, to get into the middle of the toilet seat, you'll see me drill a, an access hole, and then I just Follow the, the scribe line once again with the jigsaw. And, um, cut out the seat and the lid to get a nice smooth edge. I trace the profile with the router um, and a radius cutter. You're gonna see me just marking out where the buffers go. Just um, pretty much, I used a rule, but I, I pretty much eyeballed where they looked good, making sure that Oh, in the center, uh, marked them out for pencil, and then I just, uh, these buffers are located with six figures. Um, so you'll see on the drill, I've got some red tape uh, as a guide to how far to drill, make sure I don't poke a hole all the way through the other side, and then I just varnish the seats. So I've just got some hardware, uh, which is like a, a three-way hinge for the toilet seat. One goes on the toilet seat, one goes on the lid, and one goes on the back brace. So I'm gonna polish these up with the buffing wheel just to make the whole thing look nice at the end. So for the back stop, I just did a rough cut um, with the jigsaw, and then I just traced the profile with the straight cutter in the router. The straight cutter wasn't long enough to cut all the way through the profile. 
uh, the thickness of the wood. Um, so I traced it one way and flipped it around and traced it the other way. Uh, this actually worked really well. So then I went back and traced the sink and the lid just to get a nice 